Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Uh, hope you are having a good weekend or hope you had a great weekend, depending on, on when you're watching this. And welcome to your daily update on, on dogs. All right, we'll do a full update here. In this video, I wanted to zoom in a little bit on when to buy dogs. All right. Um, so we'll do a full update in general <clears throat> about the situation right now and, and what's going on. Uh, there's no fundamental developments, but there are some some relatively interesting technical developments I, I think we need to talk about. Um, but um, but like I said, we'll also focus on at least when I will buy dogs, right? And I'll probably name this video something like uh, when you should buy dogs. In the end, it's up to you, all right? Um, personally, I have not bought dogs yet, all right? Ever since the launch, I have not touched it, not traded it. Um, but at some point of time, and I told you before why, but at some point of time, I, I do think dogs will do will do good. Um, and that's the moment when I will buy and I'll tell you when I, I think that is and I think and, and, and I'll tell you what to what to kind of look for but I do want to say because I can already hear some people behind the screen saying oh, it will never pump etc at this point in time it looks very bearish uh, volume is dropping down quite a bit down that's obviously because it's it's weekend as well uh, but volume in general is, is much much lower compared to the launch and the momentum we saw uh, back then and there's there's generally a downtrend in there and there's still um if you look at ton which dogs does rely on quite a bit um ton is also still very very bearish here all right so so that obviously doesn't help and then if you look at the technicals for for, for dogs itself as well um i agree dogs at this point of time looks very bad and it looks very bearish um, but it's just like for, for me as a non-holder, as, as someone who wants to trade dogs, that doesn't matter. It's waiting for the ideal moment. Then you have to be ready. Then you have to be ready to buy. Then you have to have to ha have a plan. And that's it. Um, and I do have that because at this point of time, like I said, I think it's bearish. That's also what I said yesterday. So I would assume we're, we're dropping down lower. Right now, our main support level is right here around 1000 or 0 0.1 cents. I would say, and it's always a, a little bit hard uh, to predict where the next support level will be like like you can you can do something like this right so you, you can do some sort of a trend line like this uh, but the but, but the validity and the reliability of that is, is usually very low um, but when we're looking at psychological levels you probably have this level right here at at 900 that that can be quite strong you have 800 and you have 750 now my personal favorite level is between 800 and 750 750 is the strongest psych psychological level but that's quite a big drop that's a drop of about 25 percent uh, so i'm not certain if if we'll, if we'll if we'll ever get there but for now like i said i do think it's likely we'll drop down lower so that's for me there are two two moments i will buy dogs and that's either if we hit a significant support level and we actually get a strong reaction from that or if we get a significant bullish breakout now the significant bullish breakout for me is pretty clear at this point of time i think the main resistance for dogs is this level right here uh, which is at the top at 1140 at this moment all right so there you have the 200 ema 0.236 fib if we break above that with momentum i will buy um, which might sound weird because th then you say like, oh, but but then but then the price has already pumped by by quite a bit, and that's true because then we we have already had a fifteen percent pump. Uh, but if dogs and if my my theory about uh, dogs is is right, we can pump much much higher if we actually break that. Um, so that's the first moment when I will buy or at least heavily consider buying. There's no promises. And the second uh, uh, second reason is if we hit a significant support level. So, for example, when when we were still up here with the price, what I said is, well, 1000 as a psychological level is actually a, a strong level. I might buy there has been strong so far. And um, so if we really drop down to that level at 750 and 800, I will probably try a buy from there as well, uh, just because of the sheer uh, psychological and technical strength from that level. And we have seen in the past for example, at this level at 1000, that dogs uh, reacts to that, All right? So you have a bit of proof it reacts to that. So then it's worth it to, to try that again from a level lower. Uh, but those are my two, two strategies on dogs right now. Like I said, for now, it seems most likely we'll just stay consolidated here and that will drop down lower soon. Um, but I'll keep you updated on that. Hopefully we'll break out from here, but there's, there's no real indication of, of that right here. Uh, momentum is going up quite a bit, uh, but it is, it, it's, it's not, good momentum it's longs and shorts instead of longs what you want to see for momentum 
But those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.